It is a super shock quick. And it's actually 67% trichlor. So it's basically a powder form of the 3 inch trichlor tablet. And this one bag of trichlor um, powder treats 20,000 gallons of pool, 20,000 gallons versus the Cal Hypo that I use, which is um, calcium hydrochlorite, and it actually treats only 10,000 gallons of pools for the equivalent size bag of shock. So the drawback with the Cal Hypo is that you can't really use it in a salt pool because it raises the calcium level really high. And in standard pools, it also raises your calcium hardness level up. Okay, so there are some precautions using this product. You want to wear a mask when you put it in because this powder and the trichlor is very toxic. You don't want to get any on your skin because it's very itchy also. You can tell this is a very powerful chemical. If you want to test your water and if you need to shock your pool, this one here the chlorine level is a little bit low so I'm going to go ahead and add a bag of the trichlor shock. Definitely want to, you definitely want to be wearing a mask and protective goggles when you use this stuff. It's really toxic. Okay, so this is a colored plastic pool and the chemist over at the company that makes the trichlor shock said that I can actually add it to a color pool but only at the return jet you don't want any of this powder settling on the bottom because it could bleach the colored plaster. There's a return jet here so I can actually add it right here and let it blow it in the pool but you can also add it to the skimmer directly. Even though it has a pH of about 3 the chemist said it dissolves so quickly that it won't raise the pH or damage any of the equipment so you can actually add it directly to the skimmer like so with the pool running. And after adding it, you want to step away because it is pretty toxic still in that area. You make sure your pool is running when you do add the shock into the skimmer. So again, that's the two methods to add this to your pool, either by the return jet so that none of the dust settles on the bottom, or in the skimmer, which I prefer to do personally, just to be safe that nothing gets damaged. And you never want to actually add this to a bucket of water to dilute it. Um, you'll be in the emergency room pretty quick. The minimum amount of water for the trichlor shock is a thousand gallons. So if you were to pour this into this bucket, it would just be a toxic uh, problem and you would probably be in the ER. And with that said, um, you know, use this product with caution, but it is the strongest shock you're going to be able to buy anywhere. But like I said, this one 13 ounce bag treats 20,000 gallons. And um, I would recommend using it with extreme caution if you decide to go with the trichlor shock. This tree is going to be dropping leaves like crazy the rest of the season. The pool has a little bit of a tint to it because it leaves eat all the chlorine out of it, so I'm going to shock it. So I'm going to go ahead and add two bags of the Super Shock Quick into the skimmer. And that should clear up this pool. It's probably a little overkill, but I want it to clear up. And I, don't, I usually go over versus under when I do the chemicals. So after half an hour of some serious manual labor, I've got this pool clean enough where the cleaner is actually working again. And it's actually clearing up really good since I shocked it about half an hour ago. You want to make sure that the trichlor bag doesn't get wet. Uh, the chemical will activate in the bag and kind of eat through it when it gets wet. That's how powerful it is. And you can actually smell the chemical through the bag when it gets wet. So keep it in a dry place on a rainy day or if you have rainy weather, definitely move it inside or put it in a bucket with a secure lid to prevent the bag from getting like this.